Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl finally going back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and everything that you do. We're very, very grateful. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0, and we have some amazing videos that uh, we posted last month and i'm sure you guys will enjoy them you can also check out our instagram funny and jesse and feel free to follow us message us whichever one you're comfortable with feel free to be friendly with us and we'll be more than glad to uh talk to you guys and if you have anything that you want us to react to drop the link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to react to it a big shout out to the person that suggested this so today i'm going to be reacting to eyes that cry when remembering allah sheikh asim or oh, hakim so without wasting time let's get into the video abdullah ibn shakhir may allah be pleased with him said that i went to a room when the prophet was praying and i heard to his chest a noise similar to the noise when you have a pot on fire and it's boiling. So he's crying, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He's weeping. Why would you do such a thing? Because when you remember Allah Azza wa when you remember the greatness of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, when you remember that Allah has created all this universe which does not mean anything at the greatness of Allah Azza wa and it is nothing compared to the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I as an individual I am nothing at all compared to this huge universe let alone compared to the greatest of Allah Azza wa Jal. when you pray and in the middle of the night and you recollect or that is recall your sins your shortcomings the things you've done to others the things that you have done towards uh, to Allah the Almighty and you feel how small and humiliated you are standing in front of Allah Azza wa praying and asking for forgiveness, you cannot help but to cry. Likewise, when you ask Allah Azza wa for forgiveness, when you're prostrating or you're making dua, if it comes from the heart, it rips your heart out because you know how bad you were and you still are and you don't know how Allah Azza wa is going to conclude your life. So you keep on praying, you keep on uh, uh, feeling this submissiveness and Humility to Allah Azza wa Jal and you cannot help but to cry and that is why this is a little bit difficult Why because you may try it for a year or two and nothing happens But if it does happen, then you are among the fortunate one That is why you're encouraged to try and make it happen by faking it for a few years trying to convince yourself that you're crying out of the fear of Allah Azza wa Jal, and then Allah may bless you by making it and transforming it into sincere fear of Allah and crying. So what's the benefit if I cry and, 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 and a, a tear falls from my eye? The Prophet said والسلام, that there are two eyes would not see hell, meaning if my eyes will not see hell, then I would not be admitted to hell altogether, which means that definitely I'll be in paradise. And one of them was, an eye that remembered Allah Azza wa Jal and tears came out of it. So fearing Allah Azza wa Jal and crying out of this fear is a carte blanche that you will not enter hell and you will go to paradise with the grace of Allah Azza wa Jal. So yes, if you can force yourself, if you can fake it and, 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 and pretend that you are doing this out of the fear of Allah, it would gradually turn into real and genuine fear of Allah Azza wa Jal. سبحان الله عدد ما خلق في الأرض سبحان الله عدد ما بين ذلك I'll borrow the words from the interpreter sometimes it's all about submitting yourself and actually tapping into that fear and calling out to God because if you don't that's why you find yourself faking it forcing things when you kneel down to pray or when you bow down to pray or when you sit down to pray you should really mean whatever is coming from your heart when you don't mean what's coming from your heart 
then you're not being truthful with your with yourself yes you can fake it but then you're really not being truthful with yourself being submissive is giving yourself to god you're giving everything you're feeling like you have nothing you're nothing and you're just sitting there and saying god thank you or you're sitting down there and saying um god please forgive me or you're just sitting down there and having a genuine conversation with the lord and that's how we should operate i mean it can't be every day that you want to say okay i'm going to be very very submissive no it should come naturally it shouldn't it shouldn't be forced it's all about creating a relationship with god it takes it takes steps you can't just go in full force no it doesn't work like that and for those that have reached that level i mean it's easy for them but for those of you that haven't reached or for those of us that haven't reached that level we have to take everything step by step little by little and we will get there one day otherwise god will forever be there for us to overcome us no matter what let me know what you guys actually think about this message what you guys feel about eyes that cry make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video